Hi friends, most of us uses Microsoft Word, but uh, we are unaware of its most useful hidden features. So today in this video, I am going to tell you the most useful features which are rarely used in Microsoft Word. So let's get started. So in the newer version of Microsoft Word, you have this feature search box given here. Tell me what you want to do. You just click here and type any feature which you want to use and it will instantly come. For example, if you want to insert page number, just search here, insert page number and the search result fetches you the relevant thing which you want to do you search anything insert comment okay uh, it's, it will uh, be available to you so it is a very useful tool uh, the feature search uh, anything which comes to your mind and you think whether it can be done by your word or not you just search here and it will be here For example, if you want to generate some random paragraphs and text uh, so that you can test the formatting, etc. So for that, what you need to do is to just type rand and uh, any number 6, 9. What it does signifies is 6 is the number of paragraphs and 9 is the number of sentences in each paragraph. So if I'm typing in rand 6 9 so 6 paragraphs each with 9 sentences will be generated if I write here 7 and 8 so 7 paragraphs each with 8 sentences will be generated now hit enter and 7 paragraphs each with 8 sentences are generated now so it's a very useful tool to fill your Microsoft Word with random text let's move to the next step Uh, for example, if you want to insert a horizontal line here, what you need to do is just type hyphen three times and then press enter. A horizontal line will be inserted. If you want to select any sentence, what you, we generally do is to move the cursor from beginning to the end or end to the beginning but there is a shorter way around for example if you want to select any sentences what you need to do is to just press control on your keyboard and then click the sentence and the sentence will be selected so it's very easy you just press control on your keyboard and click the sentence the whole sentence will be selected instantly Uh, if we are working on a long paragraph, long word document, we are editing things and saving, okay, we are editing here and there and what if we want to the last edited location, if you want to move to the last edited location, just press shift plus F5 in your keyboard and the cursor will move to the last edited locations uh, to make a font bigger there is a shorter way around for example if you want to make this text bigger okay so or for example you want to make the whole sentence bigger or smaller so what you need to do is to press Ctrl plus Shift plus greater than symbol in your keyboard and it will uh, be bigger by a unit. You just keep pressing and it will become much more bigger. If you want to move the other way around, if you want to make the fonts, uh, the uh, text smaller, you just press Ctrl Shift and keep pressing 
control shift and less than point. Normally while deleting what we do is we press backspace key but you don't know that if we keep control key pressed in your keyboard and then press back key it will just delete the whole word instead of a letter. If you want to insert a link anywhere there is a faster way around you just for example if I want to insert a link hyperlink here so what we need to do is to press control plus K on your key, keyboard and now put the hyperlink here URL address and the address field and press OK so this has become link you can uh, do this with format painter what you need to do is to just select the piece of text whose formatting you want to copy to the another and then go here and click on format painter just click a brush type icon will appear to your cursor and now select the whole sentence to which you want to apply the format okay so this format has been copied to this piece of text for selecting the whole paragraph you just need to click three times okay just click three times and the whole paragraph will be selected is to select any piece of text so you can press shift plus f3 and can choose your desired case so it is a very fast way to move to different cases for a piece of text. What if I want to write here or I want to write here? So in that case, just double click and start writing there. Okay. To remove formatting quickly to remove any formatting for example if you copy a piece of text from web uh, uh, internet uh, normally the formatting comes along with the text so to remove the formatting of the text there is a faster way around just press control key and space key on your keyboard and the formatting will be gone Normally most of the people for cutting and pasting they just select the piece of text and press control plus X in their keyboard and they just put the cursor where they want to paste the text and press control V but there is a faster way around to do this for example if you want to cut this piece of text or these two sentences from here to here so what you need to do is to first select the piece of text which you want to cut and then press F2 on your keyboard once it is done just place the cursor on that location where you want to paste that text and then hit enter so that piece of text will be pasted there to insert unicode characters in your doc you just type the code and then press alt plus x key on your keyboard for example if you want to insert dollar sign in your microsoft word just this is the unicode of dollars and then press alt plus x key and the symbol will be inserted in microsoft word For example, 
if you want to you know calculate just inside Microsoft Word what you need to do is to just go to file and the top menu now click on options now click on quick access toolbar now here in this field choose command forms choose commands not in the ribbon now scroll down and go to the C section and there is a calculator okay just add this once this is added press ok so here it is this symbol has been added uh, in our Microsoft Word now we can just do mathematical calculations just inside the Microsoft Word for example if there is a calculation like uh, mathematical equation like okay or a more complex one like uh, this one okay what you need to do is to just select this equation and then click on calculate so the result of the calculation will be written here so you can just calculate right inside your Microsoft Word if you want to change font in your Microsoft Word you have to just see in the top section font section and here it is just click on this arrow you can also press Control plus D and now here using this window you can change and customize font next step is what if you don't want these annoying you know spell checks and you uh, you want to turn them off for this document which you are working on so in order to do this what you need to do is to just click on file and then click on options and here it is there is proofing on the left menu there is proofing just click on proofing just you know check these two options exceptions for document one okay so for this document no spell errors will be checked many of you don't know that you can password protect your word document it's very easy and it's an inbuilt feature to protect your word document with a password so that anyone with the password only can open this just click on file and just click on protect document okay and here it is the second option encrypt with password so you have to type the password okay and retype it to confirm it and your now document is password protected so it's very useful if you want to send some secure stuff secure data to someone and you want uh, that only persons having the password can only open it if you want to remove the password just click on encrypt with password again and now just delete the password okay there is also one option known as mark as final once you click this icon this document will become read only no one when uh, no one can edit this document now many of you working in word doc just save too many word documents in your computer and save it to different location multiple location but once you close it you forget that where you have kept that word so there is a trick that uh, if you want to open uh, the most last edited word doc which you are working on recently the most recent one so for that just search when word dot exe slash m file one okay just 
search here and this click on the search result so it will open the most recently edited word document from your pc what you need to do is to just press alt and then select this will be a rectangular selection and you don't want to enter serial number like this okay you just want a faster way around so for that just select the first row or the row first column or the column in which you want to put the serial number and just click on numbered bullets okay and here it is the serial number is automatically gets embedded into your desired column so that's all my friends if you really like the video please hit the like button and if you like my content please subscribe to my channel i'll keep coming with more and more content like this thanks for watching the video guys 